Hello, I'm Tommy Baldwin. Played 239 games for Chelsea and scored 92 goals. I've been on for a while. Uh, it's my little lad's birthday yesterday, so I really didn't get a chance to sort of do any videos, etc. It's the performance last night, 1-1 draw in Ireland against Bohemians. And a bit of a nothing game, really. 22 players used. A completely different side, first half and second half. And teams that were pretty much made of the fringe players. Some of our on-loan players, some of the players that haven't played for a while. Not really any of any experience, perhaps apart from Aspilicueta, Batshuayi, etc. But um, not an expected Chelsea side that are likely to be seen at all for the forthcoming season, I suspect. First half and second half, we were far better in the first half, much more highly pressed. And we got our rewards with a goal quite early on in the game. Mitchy bashed away after eight minutes. He took it well, to be fair to him. And we were definitely dominant in a game where fitness was the most important thing, more than anything. Um, playing Bohemians who were halfway through their particular season. And of course, their fitness levels are much higher than ours. But um, second half, we changed the side. I'll give you the teams, actually, in the first half. We lined up with Willie Caballero in goal, Sterling, Aspilicueta, Gaili, Kennedy, uh, Drinkwater, Ethan Ampadu, uh, Pedro, a bit of experience there, Gallagher, and Palmer, and, of course, the Bats up front, Batuai. The 4 2 3 1 formation that Frank was using there. Second half, as I say, a completely different side. Coming, Zappa, Costa, Shalabar, Zuma, Kurt Zuma, Miatson, uh, who's the Dutch lad, Gilmore, Baka Yoko, uh, Baker, Piazon, Ubo, and Izzy Brown. Finished 1 1, a little bit sloppy towards the, towards the, the end of the game. and they got their just rewards, I guess. Um, but it was more of a, a game about playing the players that have gone out there. It's more about a squad. Yeah, he needs to see them all play. So he's taken them all out with him. As I say, a lot of the experienced players have joined him a few days later. And a lot of them will be expected to play on Saturday when we play St. Patrick's Athletic. I don't know, guys. What do you think, really? It was... Um, uh, it was there's not really much you can say about it really it was just as I say all about fitness all about um, creating the right spirit Frank certainly seems quite happy after the game you know he was happy with the way the whole spirit of everything was and I guess it was about seeing all the youngsters and trying them out and just giving them a bit of a run out and trying to get their fitness levels and we got a long a quite a, a large uh, build up towards the season. We obviously got this game on Saturday, then we, we, we go to Japan where we play uh, Barcelona, and then we return back, I think, to the Majeski where we play Red. There's a lot of games, as I say, um, before the start of the season. So it's all about easing them in bit by bit. What was nice also is um, uh, there was a minute's applause beforehand for young. Or in Tully, if you remember, he was the young lad that um, he was only what 19, serious illness, and um, he passed away. And that was um, a nice touch because, obviously, as we all know, Chelsea was his team, right? You know, what did you think about the performance? Did you, uh, the stream actually, I'm told, went down. I actually watched it online, but I didn't watch it through the Chelsea website but I'm told that it, it, it broke down. I did manage to catch up on the after stuff, you know, with Jimmy Floyd Asselbank on the app. I know a lot of people were complaining about it literally just the whole thing just broke down the broadcast. Anyway guys, um I'll be back uh, as usual over the next few days. Thank you ever so much for watching Chelsea SW six. I'll speak to you soon, keep the blue flag flying eye. And that was Chelsea.